Fuck yeah, man, I fucking won. <laughs> Guys, guys, guys and gals. Am I in? Guys and gals. Welcome. Thanks. Wait, I, let me. We're on a landmark episode. Just so you know how far behind I am. Let me reiterate. We're shooting episode 98 today. Who do we have here? Today? Guitar Center. What's Guitar Center doing here? Shooting a commercial, I think. I think. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could never find good help. <laughs> Erica is like. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so this intro isn't going to be that long because we did a whole bit with my comedian actor friend Demo. Now Demo is not his real name, it's actually Paul Demetropoulos. He's Greek, he's from Spartan blood. This is Sparta! And he's a really funny guy. Westworld, again, J.J. Abrams, executive producer. Did you ever watch Lost at all? I never saw Lost. Oh my I know, god. Like I watched every episode of Lost for seven years straight. And the ending was kind of eh. Here is, man, it's getting dark. Here is Westwood, West, <laughs> Westworld review episode show. Here we go. <laughs> good morning, huh? Ooh, good morning, everyone. Mm, love you guys. Welcome, as they say, to I Might Be Chad, an Idiot's Guide to Los Angeles. We're gonna drink some coffee. Demo, what? are you doing, bro? I'm having my coffee, dude. I said I just need to go dump a memory card. You said in and out in an hour. I'm trying to just get us on schedule That's here. That's what she said. <laughs> Give me my coffee. Yeah, God, please. I don't even like coffee. Holy cow, guys. Uh, a no introduction needed. Paul? <laughs> Dimitropolis. <laughs> where does Dimit... Where does Dimitropolis like originate? Like uh, Greece. So, so you're Greek? Sort of. The Spartans. Yeah. yeah. Like Other 300. Spartans. Your yeah. brother's name is Leonidas. Yes. My father's name is Pericles. Right. And For real. And your sister? <laughs> sister Hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. <laughs> 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 yeah, little did she know. She, he was a she, right. she was a he. Yes. How is the, how is the comedy life? Though? How's it, the comedy life treating you? Uh, How's the road treating you? The road. <laughs> Not enough road head on the road as I would like. That's, stand up is, uh, it's a big shit sandwich and we all gotta take a bite. You know, you've been playing some pretty exclusive, I noticed a few shows in Montebello. Montebello. Rancho Link, Cucamonga. Lincoln Heights. Lincoln Heights. City of Industry. Right Lincoln next up. to the Spearmint Rhino. I you have a, a booking agent or? I don't, I have nothing. <laughs> Booking it. Don't make me sound. Don't play me up, and then we have to go. No, I don't have any of this shit. Right. Uh, well, when, yeah. I mean, you clean house at night of the Apollo. I get ready for some real hot shit right now. It's about to go down. So let me get this right. I just shaved my nuts for nothing. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Oh, I crush. I think with a name that long, I have like a monster cock to go with. <laughs> you crush I crush with that. the urban crowd. Yeah. It's a living. Not really. I am at the Springbok Spar Lounge something in. Van Nuys, California, February 22nd. Right. Van Nuys is the new Westwood. Lobster and beer over by Motor. Hey. It's like anytime you're on the 605. Yeah. What did I do wrong where I am on the 605, <laughs> right? You follow Demo on his Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, it's Tumblr, Pornhub. Right. It's all there. D-I-M-O, D-A-M-M-I-T, D-A-M-M-I-T. Uh, I met Demo while we were working at the Key Club. Executive chef Jeff Haynes. Jeff Haynes. Hey, <laughs> Jeff Haynes. Uh, Jeff Hades, what's up, dude? Jeff. Guru of Chateaubriand rats. Oh, yes. His Chateaubriand rats. Choice. I just like saying it. Chateaubriand rats. Oh, yeah. 
Yep. Yep. So this is the uncomprehensive <laughs> review of Westworld. Actually, you know what? We need a we need a better bait title. One hundred Easter eggs in Westworld you never knew. Yeah. Okay. Easter eggs in Westworld? Maybe. <laughs> Westworld things you didn't know. <laughs> Westworld Easter eggs you missed. You missed them. That's good. That's right. good. Hold on. Five hundred obvious Easter eggs in Westworld. Okay, sure. <laughs> Westworld, things you thought you needed to know but didn't. You got HBO, watch it. Westworld, <laughs> Easter eggs, peeps, and whatnot. <laughs> and what you call it. Yeah, and what you call it, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, uh, it, it. Westworld, Easter eggs? <laughs> Westworld, Easter eggs, Trump theories, right. and what you call it. Okay, sure. Westworld, Easter eggs, Trump conspiracies. <laughs> And what you call it? Fuck that! What a great title! As long title. as you like it. Oh, spoiler alert! We're not gonna ruin anything anyway, so just watch yeah. it. No spoilers. This is here. just the basic breakdown. Yeah. So the fact Bernard is actually a host. Do <laughs> you believe it? You're like Bernard. Episode seven is actually a robot. It's, wait, wait, wait. The expiration date on this is like woo. Well, when was, the, when was the season finale? Late November. December, Jet. Two months. But in two the zeitgeist, months. it might as well be in 2015. Yeah. Demo. <laughs> basically breakdown. What is the main premise of Westworld. It's like a sci-fi western based off a movie from 1973 that Michael Crichton made. Don't watch that. <laughs> Ultimate resort. Holy shit. There's this giant amusement park that's like the Wild West. It's inhabited by hosts, which are, you know, robots. Guests, which are real people, pay a shitload of money. It's for rich people, so it's kind of like, really, it's for 1% or so. <laughs> Pfft, fuck you. <laughs> fuck whoever you want. Shoot whoever you want. Rob. Basically, choose your own adventure in the Wild West. When we enter it, some of the hosts are starting to get a little, little crazy. <laughs> And they're like gaining a consciousness. And Anthony Hopkins plays like the Walt Disney of the place that invented it. If any of you have ever been on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, went with my nieces and nephews, you're in this little boat and then you go into this underground kind of tunnel and then there are all these like animatronic people, but they lit it so well. I was really tripped out. So Michael Crichton had been on that ride and was imagining, God, what would happen if there was a, a city built with all these things and they started to go crazy. Crazy. And that's how Westworld was actually thought of. Out of some of my favorite movies, I could see a lot of influence and same formula being used of what would happen if, you know, robots actually gained intelligence at a point. A thinking robot could be the end of mankind. Another one is AI, which is a completely underrated movie. In an age of intelligent machines, he is the first robotic child programmed to love. I'm a boy. You are a real boy. A lot of people hated it. I actually thought it was really good. Fun fact, never blinks. He never blinks. No reference, probably one of the best movies of probably, I think two years ago, maybe three years ago, Ex Machina. I want to talk to you about the greatest scientific event in the history of man. Are you building an AI? What were you doing with Ava? I still haven't seen this. Low budget, but it's freaking great. Struggle of a robot trying to figure out, am I real or am I not? Tell me, Demo, if you went to Westworld, where'd be the first place you'd go? Whorehouse. Candy Newman type of business. Thoughts. It's hot. Nice nips. Well, I, I almost wasn't able to watch Tandy Newton and anything else after I saw Beloved, which scared the living shit. I, uh, <laughs> It reminded me of that scene from Pet Cemetery. You know the sister that they're taking care no! of? No! And they'll come home and they'll say, I murdered her by choking. Yes, like no, her like spinal man in Everyone has the same reaction. Do, 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 everyone. No. The, no. Oh, what's going on here? What's Was there that? no focus on any of this? What you are watching are three different timelines cut together in a very sneaky manner. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Don't worry about spoilers, but basically, uh, Ford gets assassinated. <laughs> Yeah, Anthony Hopkins gets killed at the end. Mm -hmm. And we find out he's blind the whole time. Yes, he has Dolores kill him. That's right. What am I thinking? And he realizes that the park they've created, the robots have consciousness, and it's going to be crazy, and he's got to end it now. Basically creates the massacre of all the existing hosts yes. at that time. Yeah. So Ford takes over as the sole creator of Westworld and completely did not want to recognize Arnold's theory that the hosts were gaining consciousness. Really? 
Yeah. <laughs> one experience with Dolores, he decides that she is going through consciousness, and the only way for her to find true consciousness and become real was to suffer. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Right. And she suffer has to go through over the maze. and over until she finally understood, which is what the maze is. Right. The main motivation for the maze is through two characters, Dolores and Ed Harris, who plays the man in black, who is basically, what's his name? William. Yeah, young William, who's like in another timeline. Hold on, don't worry about spoilers, we're not giving yes, anything away. nothing away. He's in another timeline with young Dolores, but Dolores, because she's a robot, she's in all the other timelines. So she's like, you go, Dolores doesn't age, because she's a robot, but yet she's in the timeline in 30 years from now, and in the timeline 30 years in the past. And she's all crazy. I remember 30 years ago, but oh, you know. It is a reference. They're kind of messing with Dolores, because she's she keeps on getting reset every day, essentially. She gets grounded. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. You're watching William play the same scenario out with Dolores for years, years, and just kind of playing with her. He feels like she is the key to knowing what's in the center of the maze. And See, he also wants like the, the robots to actually like, you know, be a threat. I didn't pay all this money because I want it easy. I want you to fight. Right. As opposed to, I oh, do whatever, they're just right. going to come back tomorrow. So let's talk about that. The man in black's problem is that he is now a, a major shareholder in Westworld. He'd been investing in it. Now he's a majority shareholder. Because he's he, super rich. He, he's like, he, a, like a Bill Gates type. So he thinks that there's a secret level or something to <laughs> Westworld that he's not aware of. The problem with the hosts, the robots, they're programmed for a narrative, a storyline that they do the same They're every little... single day. Morning, Daddy. You sleep well? Well enough. Morning, Daddy. You sleep well? Oh, well enough. They're on their loop. Things can disrupt that. But here's the thing with Westworld. Yes, cannot get killed by the host. So they'll be straight gunfights. Doesn't hurt the guests. The host, they can all die. <laughs> So what my thing was, everyone is programmed to do kind of the same thing. What's the rules as far as you just going in and just literally your first 10 minutes, you kill everyone, all oh, the hosts. That's what I'm doing on the second day right. after I've gone to the whorehouse. Right, but you're ruining all the narratives by killing everyone. How do the other guests not disrupt the other guests' experience by doing dumb stuff? They, you said like one, guy, people one guy's like, I'm gonna follow this storyline, right? I'm gonna do like Red River Odyssey. First day, in comes like, from guy and he goes, I'm just gonna shoot up everybody. Once one host gets pulled out of the storyline, other storylines are getting completely screwed up. So what the fuck <laughs> happened? You saw complete immersion in a hundred interconnected narratives. Now you pull one character, the overall story adjusts. What kind of bullets are the host shooting that it doesn't hurt people, but they can take out other robots? They're obviously doing damage to the other robots. You're seeing bullet holes all through them. They're leaking out shit, but it does nothing. You just see like a little dust fly off humans. Here's my problem. You see what the inside of them look like. There are lots of parts, pistons, electronics. Pistons. Why wouldn't they build the exoskeleton underneath the skin with a material that you're not blasting a hole through the electronics? Wouldn't it save you? Because they gotta fix these things every single day. There's just bodies Yeah, there's coming lots, in. There's lots of fixings going on in this show. I'd be like, oh, this one's dead. If the guests know they can't get hurt, why are they getting so scared? <laughs> Oh my. In all these scenarios that are obviously written, why can't you just play Billy the Kid? Right. Why don't you just fucking start blasting? If you can't get hurt, at any moment you can just take a gun and just start capping fools in the face. None of those things were pointed out for a show so well written. They should explain a few of those things. Here's my problem with the man in black and the fact that he's been doing this for how many fucking years he's been there? Like 30 some years. 30 fucking years. You'd think after like a couple years you would just go to Florida and go, is there anything else I need to know? <laughs> if you were in William's position, would it take you 30 fucking years? Why he would stick around for that fucking long without going, hey, okay, Westworld, Game of Thrones on every level. And right. I'm not talking 
boobs. Okay. I'm sure you were just you were fine with uh, Anthony Hopkins, uh, Robert Ford. Great. If you had the choice, Anthony Hopkins is out. Who's your next best choice? How about how about Jeff Bridges? Uh, Jeff Bridges would actually be pretty great. I don't just know. Good. Jeff Bridges though could be cool. Well, he's the dude. He's the dude. Yeah, but, but don't make. Like, you're not gonna have him paying paying. Come on, skin. man! Like she's got feelings, man. That's your opinion. <laughs> they, they don't have feelings. So okay, I got do. I do gotta say, while I was watching the show, the actor that plays William, I was literally watching every episode going, God, he looks like a young Christian Slater. Uh, I would have gotten a very old, worn down Christian Slater because he still doesn't look that old. I actually think he might have been a, done a good job as the man in black. And he really looks like that young guy. Uh, now, if it was about age and Christian Slater not being old enough, to, I would have done Christian Slater as young William and Jack Nicholson as the man in black. How about Bernard? Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. He's great. Okay, one standout guy that played Felix, uh, Leonardo Nam. I really liked him part when he is told that Bernard is a host uh, and he starts doing this. Yeah, this it's like, yeah, yeah it's like, it's was like, the greatest part. Demo, if yes. you were Robert Ford, tell me your number one park you would build. 1920s, like, uh, Prohibition. You could, like, run a crime syndicate. I got something to stop him. Be Start awesome. a gang, yeah. be like a bootlegger. How would some of them talk like some of the gangsters? Yeah, probably? see? Yeah. We're gonna go uh, rob this bank, see? They can be like Chicago. So how would they talk in Chicago? See? We're gonna go... <laughs> We're gonna that's go rob it. this bank, see? Yeah. That's all they do. Chicago. Right. Chicago. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I think I would probably go for Roman world or... E Egyptian. Ancient Egypt. Would be Ancient pretty Egypt. sick. Pretty sick. However, you gotta think of, if you're gonna have fun, you know, you want nice sanitation. You want, you want they, they, they invented it. I don't know if the Egyptians invented sanitation. No, they invented the first. The uh, Romans had the Romans sewer. had sewer. But I think but it was the Egyptians that actually invented it's it. It's quite though. possible. Yeah. I'm gonna pick a land where it's like the food's a little better. I'm not saying go to the dentist. Yeah. The dentist is gonna suck, yeah. but I'm saying the food's gonna be better. A little like tapatio in your jacket or something going in there or something Can like that. Can you? Oh yeah. A little, a little sriracha. A, a little sriracha yeah. on the yeah. pheasant you just went to. Oh, oh you oh you want tapatio in ancient Egypt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think the Roman times would be pretty badass. Gladiator times? Just like literally go into like, go into like a coliseum what's, what's, and just fuck what, what, shit what, what, up. You could literally go around <laughs> as fucking Maximus <laughs> and just fucking annihilate fools because you can't get killed. You ask me what I, the world I want to go Prohibition. in? Prohibition. And there's two though. It's fuck world. Fuck world. Fuck world. <laughs> fuck world. <laughs> fuck world. <laughs> fuck world. It's like the, the parks aren't making money anymore. What should we do? Fuck world gets you in the black. Sports world. <laughs> Sports world. <laughs> Walk around with shirts that say sports. <laughs> okay. But that would, would be the most sports world are going to be money makers. Right. And it's in world doesn't judge. I'm sure Trump would go to fucking P-World <laughs> within Fuck World, right? Hey, let's go to P-Town. Trump mm. loves it there, right? Uh, guys, thanks for... I hope you found this entertaining. Again, we're cutting it down. I think we've been shooting for like two, three hours two or something hours. like that. Yeah. For that, again, Demo. Thanks for having me. I might be Chad. Erica stopped by to play some Grand Theft Auto. Actually, we're playing... Red Dead Revolver tonight. In honor of Westworld. In honor of Westworld, because that's basically what it is. Say Thanks again. Episode 22. Eggs. Westworld, Easter eggs, Trump theories. What should we call it? Thanks for watching, guys. You comment below. And make sure to subscribe. Shit, I'm even nice to my toaster now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, inanimate objects? Yeah. You can be, uh, I'm sure Demo has had many personal relationships with plenty of inanimate objects. Oh. Blossoming of his manhood was brought on from inanimate objects. Some of his greatest conquests yeah. were with <laughs> inanimate objects. <laughs>